Hi, welcome back to the channel, My Stoma, My Way. My name is Daniel, and today I wanted to talk about do I need to tell someone about my stoma? Uh, so stick around and we'll get to that. So hope everyone is having a good weekend, a good day. Um, <clears throat> it's been a uh, uh, interesting weekend, uh, tiring weekend, um, but not too bad. Um, getting ready going into next week oh, which is i'm gonna be super busy at work but uh i think the good kind of busy uh but anyways um let's go ahead and get into it so do i need to tell someone about my stomach do i need to tell someone about my colostomy bag absolutely not i mean you don't need to tell anyone anything right um that has to do with your medical history or your body especially if it does not make you feel comfortable um but Obviously, I'm going to tell you, you can absolutely talk about it and tell someone uh, about your stoma. Um, I mean, why not? You know, um, I think it's good. Uh, it can be a good conversation starter, maybe, um, especially if you're trying to get to know someone. So, you know, for for um, in my case, when I went back to work, I knew I was going to have to talk about it. I just didn't know how or when, you know, what that was going to look like. And it kind of happened pretty quick, you know, the people, the this new crew that I kind of joined um, were interested, you know, and curious about me. And knowing that I came back from leave of absence, I well, thought, well, you know, obviously, I'm, 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 you know, how am I going to start to talk about this? And what worked out for me was talking about my illness first, which is diverticulitis. I made a video about my diagnosis and all that. Um, so I thought, you know, let me start with that and then lead into, you know, hey, do you know what a stoma is? <laughs> you know, and then just kind of went from there. You know, it kind of just it was a natural conversation. People just tend to have questions um, in general. So one of the individuals knows someone that has one. So, you know, it's very likely likely that you're going to get people asking questions and you're going to get people that, you know, that can either relate or they know someone. So it really was not that bad, you know, and it and it gave them, I think, an idea of who I am as a person and how I was, you know, talking about it and telling them about it and my experience. Um, you know, I think it gave them a glimpse of, who, of my personality and, you know, in terms of just being someone who is going to still, even though it's hard, I'm still going to try to fight and try to, you know, overcome um my hangups with this and the my my issues and with it uh and you know i think it's it, it, i think it helped um you know it, it it helped me definitely helped me i think it's important uh obviously to get this kind of stuff out this is why i'm doing this channel uh and it's in return it's really uh helping me and giving me a different perspective and I don't know it's just it's just sh I, I i feel like by talking about it and sharing my my story and not just on this youtube channel you know but just people that i i work with uh it has just really helped you know in in a lot of ways i think it's helped my self-esteem it's helped me process it's helped me want to uh talk about it a little bit more in terms of not having shame i don't want to just be like hey gay you know guess what gang like you know this you know my stoma looks amazing i cleaned it right now last night you know like i don't i don't i don't i don't start my day and i don't run to people and to talk to them about my stoma um and the issues and pros and cons of it uh but they know it's there and you know in my case at, at being at work i had to make sure that if i did have an emergency where i needed to excuse myself from the view of a customer or from wherever i was at you know they would know why it wasn't i was just you know running away or having a freak out moment or whatever they know that there there's you know something that is going on and i need to go attend to immediately and they will take over whatever is happening so um, you know, it, 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 it helps. It was in, in a way somewhat necessary. And also you might find yourself in a position at work where it might be necessary. 
But you know, with that being said, it's you, you, you say what you're comfortable with and you share what you're comfortable with. If you can trust this person and they're, you know, sincerely interested and, and care, then why not, you know? And you may even help them. Maybe they're, they're going through something and they're just not talking about it. It's weird, a lot of people, it's not weird, but there's a lot of cases, a lot of people going through things and it doesn't have to just be medical and they're just not talking about it for whatever reason. And that is understandable, you know, especially depending on the professional environment where you're at, it's the right time and place for everything. But, you know, it's nice to be able to talk about things with people who you spend a lot of time with, you know? So obviously, hopefully you can, you have those, people to talk about it with and if not there's so many places like youtube and like uh, you know support groups on reddit that i found that are um filled with tons of people that are going through a lot of the same things that i went through and are talking about you know what helped them and i wish i would have you know maybe been a little bit more open to to hearing some of this stuff uh before it actually happened to me but you know that's not always the case but anyways, there's so you know that the point is is that there's people talking about it and there's a group of uh, su uh, of support out there and and you know don't be afraid to ask questions, um, no matter how silly you may feel like they are. Trust me, you know looking, reading, going through some of these support groups and and um, on YouTube and other other places, you know it's amazing the similarities and it's comforting in a way to know that you know i wasn't the only one or you know it's 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 this craziness isn't just affecting someone like me it's it's not um it can happen to anyone you know uh, no matter how old or or young <coughs> you may be so but anyways yeah i just really wanted to answer that um in a way that uh you know is 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 a positive um and sharing your story and not just having you know just that question like am i gonna do i really have to tell anyone of course not but you know feel free to uh but anyways i'm going to go ahead and end this video now uh thank you for clicking on this video like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one thanks bye